Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, over50resource.com, and my name is Susan, and if you're new here, make sure you smash that like button and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I put out a new video. If you're not new, then welcome back. So today what I wanted to do was kind of create a video and tell you guys about my dilemma. So as you know, I am working at Lowe's full time, and I am thinking about quitting. And I have several reasons that I'm thinking about quitting, and I kind of wanted to brainstorm with you or basically run them through you and kind of see. And by the end of this video, I'm going to make up my mind on whether or not I'm going to be quitting from my full-time gig at Lowe's. Now, this isn't a video to kind of, I guess, to encourage you to quit your job because really and truly that is a personal decision and you know your finances better than anybody else. So this is what why I am thinking about walking away from Lowe's. So the first reason is time. Time is huge for me because we're only given 24 hours in a day. We all have 24 hours in a day. It doesn't matter who you are, 24 hours. When those 24 hours are up, then we're on the next day. So I spend a lot of my time at Lowe's. I spend eight hours of my days, at, well, actually seven and a half hours. No, yeah, eight, eight hours at Lowe's. I spend eight hours of my day at Lowe's. And this doesn't include getting up early in the morning, getting dressed, drinking coffee, and getting ready plus my commute. So I'm spending a lot of time at Lowe's. And what I've realized is that while I like being around the people, some people, I also enjoy the fact that I get a small paycheck every two weeks. I've also realized that it's hindering my progress of my business. And not only is it hindering my progress, it's actually affecting the income. So the other day I've noticed that I used to make a hundred dollars a day on my business while I was at Lowe's. And now it's down to about 80, 90 bucks a day. So I've noticed that when I get home, I don't have time to work on my business, nor do I really want to because I'm so tired of being at Lowe's from working at Lowe's physical because Lowe's is physically demanding that when I get home, I don't feel like doing anything. So I shower, eat dinner, and then pretty much just call it a day without me spending any time on growing my business. So my, my business is suffering from me staying at Lowe's. It does pay me a biweekly check that I use to invest in my business, it's not paying me enough to justify staying at Lowe's. So the second reason is the um, freedom. Now, I have been working on my blogging business before I started working at Lowe's. I've been at Lowe's for about six, six months. And before that, I was blogging on, my blogging business was my full-time business and I had all the freedom in the world and I loved it. Yeah, I got a little bored sometimes because I was by myself and spending time by myself because my partner is still working her job. I don't make enough money yet to set her free. So she's still working at her job, which kind of sucks. But the goal was that I would quit my job, focus on my business and eventually break her free from her job. Well, the freedom hasn't come for both of us. The freedom has just come for me. But I'll tell you what, guys, the freedom, I mean, there's nothing like being able to wake up without an alarm. You can come walking whenever you want to. When everybody else is at work, you get to come walking. I just went and put gas in my car this morning at Costco and got there at 8 o'clock and there was no line. So you get to do stuff where normal people are going to work and you're doing whatever you want because you don't have any commitments. I mean, yeah, I have to create content for both my YouTube and my blogging business, but I do them on my terms. So either I can get up early. I, I like to, I'm an early bird. So I get up early regardless of whether I'm working at Lowe's. The thing is I no longer have to get up at two or three in the morning to do something before I go to Lowe's. So my time commitment is huge to me. And so I value my freedom and Lowe's has taken my freedom away from me and for the amount of money that I'm making at Lowe's, it just, it doesn't seem like it's really even worth it anymore. So the third reason is because I get to be my own boss. Now, I know that sounds like a cliche and you hear that all the time. People always talk about, I want to be my own boss because I want to be able to call the shots. Well, you know what? Not everybody can be their own boss because when you are your own boss, you still have to make sure that you're doing what has to be told you have to do. So, yeah, you get the freedom, but unless you're dedicated and you're a persistent and not a procrastinator, things you have to get things done. 
So like this morning at five o'clock, I got up and I wrote an article. So now here I am, it's 9.49 and I'm sitting at the park creating this video. So while I am my own boss, I also make sure that I get things done. So if you're not the type of person who can get stuff done and make yourself do stuff, then you're likely not going to be, you're not going to be a good person to call yourself your own boss because nobody's going to tell you what to do. Well, at Lowe's, I got tired of people telling me when I can take break, how long I can sit in the break room, um, telling me what to do. And not that Lowe's was really micromanaging. They weren't, but you're still there on the clock. You're still having to do what they tell you to do. You're still having to take breaks when they tell you to take breaks or take lunches when you, when they tell you to take lunches. And I don't know about you guys, but life is too short. I never made a good soldier because I hated, I hated the whole rank system being told what to do because somebody, they thought they knew better because they outranked you. Well, I don't like that. So that's another reason I'm thinking about quitting Lowe's. And then the fourth and final reason I'm thinking of quitting Lowe's is because I'm just tired. Um, I thought, the goal was for me to stay at Lowe's for six months so that I could, or no, I'm sorry, not six months. The goal was for me to stay at Lowe's for a year. I wanted to give it a year and see how it went. And then if everything went well, then I was going to continue and see how long I could continue. And while I was working at Lowe's, I was going to continue saving on my Roth IRA or my, I was going to continue investing most of the money that I made at Lowe's and spending just a little bit. Well, you know what? I mean, I like the money. The money was great, you know, that I put in my investments and the free money that I got from Lowe's was nice and it worked out to be pretty good. But it's just, you know, I have a hard time working for fourteen fifty an hour and giving up my freedom. And like I said, I'm tired. So every day I'd wake up, my feet would hurt because I was walking on concrete. While I've been there, I've purchased three or four pairs of new shoes because I was tr trying to find a pair of shoes that would help my feet feel better while I was at work. So I was investing a lot of money back into my shoes. Now, that's fine and dandy, but my feet are still sore. As I sit here and talk to you guys on this video, usually I'd be walking, but my feet hurt. And another reason that I... <clears throat> oh, and the final reason that I'm thinking about leaving Lowe's is because... I want to grow my own business. I have goals where I have written down my goals of what I want to create and what I want to achieve. And with me working at Lowe's, I'm not growing. I'm not working towards my goals. I'm growing Lowe's business. So every minute that I spend at Lowe's, my business is suffering, <clears throat> but I'm also not growing my business. So no matter what job you have, you can have a six-figure a year job or more. You're not building something for yourself. And I want to build something for myself because I know that I am what the effort that I put into my business is for me. The effort that I put into Lowe's does not help me. I mean, yeah, they might give me a raise, but the guy that got a raise last time was like a 10 cent raise and 10 cent raise isn't going to do anything. So that's another reason. So the final reason that I'm, I'm actually thinking about, well, not thinking, I, I know I'm going to quit, um, is because I want to create some type of passive income. So Lowe's is actually active income and I am striving for passive income. Now, content creation, I want you guys to be on. Um, there's really no such thing as completely hands-off passive income. The only thing is dividends. Um, dividend investing stocks are passive income. You put the money in and they pay you a dividend every quarter, month, or whatever type of dividend that you guys get. And, of course, as long as the company doesn't cut the dividends. But with content creation, you upload or front-load the content and then – you can make money with ads, through ads, which is one of the ways that I make money. Then you can earn income while you're sleeping. With Lowe's, I have to be at work physically, clocking in, 
and making, that's the only way I make income. And so I'm tired of that. So I want to, and so I want a, an income stream that pays me regardless of whether I am at work or not. I mean, yeah, content creation is hard because you have to do it every day, especially once you get the ball, to get the ball rolling. But once you get that ball rolling, you don't have to spend as much time on it every day. My blogs, I got up this morning and I wrote a blog post. But if I don't write a blog post tomorrow, that's fine. I've already got this backload of blog, blog posts that pay me, earn me money, whether I'm working on them or not. Now, if I leave them for six months or longer, then yeah, the, the blog is going to suffer. This YouTube channel, I have to create content every day because I'm front loading it and scheduling them out so that I have content that posts every week. But eventually, these two forms of businesses that I'm creating are going to pay me while I'm sleeping, even if I don't spend time on it. And I'll never get that from Lowe's. The only way I make money from Lowe's is if I'm there. And, you know, I'm 50 years old. And while I know that I need to put as much money as I can and shovel as much money as I can into my investments, I just don't think Lowe's is going to help me achieve my goals because I've got big goals, which I will share with you guys um, in future videos. But right now, I just wanted to share a video on why I've decided that I'm going to leave Lowe's. So yeah, I, I am going to put in a notice. I'm going to give them a week's notice because I want to do it right. I'm not trying to burn any bridges. They were nice enough to hire me, and I enjoyed working there. It wasn't a bad job, and the people were really nice. So I think that I need to give them a week's notice. Plus, I'm, I don't like to burn bridges. You never know if... I could run into financial hardships in the future. I'm not focusing on financial hardships. Am I a little scared that I'm walking away from Lowe's and leaving my paycheck? A little bit. But you know what? If I walked away from the post office that was paying $60,000 a year, then, you know, walking away from a job that pays $27,000 a year, it's no big deal. Plus, I am making some income from my content creation. Even though it has fallen a little, I know with having putting full commitment on it now that I'm leaving Lowe's, I will be able to get it back to where it was and higher. But I need that time back. And low, the time that I've been spending at Lowe's, I need it back. So I'm quitting. I'm going to give them my week's notice, work a week. And um, in case I ever decide I want to go back, I they will welcome me with open arms. And um, anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know, because I'm constantly preaching that you need to have a job and a side gig. And so now I'm leaving. <laughs> Once again, I'm leaving that job. I'm just not meant to be an employee. I don't like it. I love my freedom. I love my, my time. I, I, I just need now to focus 100% on going on my content create, uh, creation business. And so anyway, if you're new to this video or new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And be notified of any new videos that I put out. And if you're not new, please come back. I, try, I put out two videos a week. I put them out Tuesday and Friday. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.